today, we can start building the stands. So the gallery is a bit of a mess, but you guys are used to hearing me say things like that. Uh, I went and picked up some two by fours today. We got 77 of them. That's basically what I could fit uh, for this run. This will build me about five or six of the 10 180 gallon stands that I need to build. This does not include other ones. Now, as I told you guys previously, I know for sure where a lot of these stands are gonna go. For example, I'm not building the 700 gallons aquarium stand simply because I already have a, st a steel stand for it. Uh, however, that stand is only like 32 inches tall. The tank itself is about 28. So that entire system stands five feet tall. Now, at only five feet tall, that puts it to right here. Not that tall, however, we have to keep in mind that some people will sit in front of the tanks, other people aren't that tall, it'll probably be a lot of kids in here in schools and whatnot, so I kind of want to make sure that they can actually actively view all the tanks. However, I think like 32 inches tall is where the 700 gallon stands, and I think that that's just a little too short, but the tank itself is like 28, so I mean it kind of makes up for it in height. So first thing I need to do is figure out how tall do we want all of these tanks. And that's kind of what you need to focus on when building your aquarium stand is of course the dimensions. What do you want them to be? Mind you, some, some normal sizing for aquarium stands a lot of the times are anywhere between like 28 inches tall to like 36 inches tall. Those are more the manufacturer's lines whereas 32 to 34 is the most common. The height of the stand is going to depict, uh, depend on a number of things. How are you actually going to be viewing your aquarium? Will you be standing? Or will you be sitting most often? Where in your house will it go? I mean, you'll be able to figure out the height, but here's, one, here's like a, an incredibly important thing. Contrary to what I like to tell myself, I'm actually pretty cheap. I know I'm a cheap guy. I try to save money all the time at whatever I can, including when I look at a piece of lumber like this, this is a two by four that is eight feet long. I think, well, it's 96 inches. How many pieces of wood can I get out of this to get the least amount of waste? And there's really only like four different dimensions when building a stand that you need to consider. And that's the length and the width. Uh, that would be two. And then you have your uprights and then supports. Those are the four measurements. We only have to measure four things when building your own stand. Now, people can argue, what's the point of building your own stand if you're just trying to, you know, save money or, you know, not do something specifically custom, just in the, do it yourself doesn't have to be all about just getting what you want, but you can also save money. You can make things tremendously stronger. They make more sense for your layout, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. When it comes to stands, I find I have a really hard time spending, uh, money on a stand that I didn't build. I trust my two by four frames more than anything. So when it comes to the stands and their heights, I'm going with 32 inches tall. And I know 32 inches is not that tall. To measure it on here, that means these stands are only gonna be to here. Like oh, a little bit below my waist, right to the bottom of my pocket. Once we add the, stand, or the tank onto it, which is another 24 inches, now we're getting up to, you know, shoulder height. I can easily actually access the tanks without needing a stool. Although I'll probably need a stool just to get to the bottom. Anybody of any height should be able to see here. I can't imagine anybody coming in that's taller or shorter than like, you know, waist high and they'd still be able to see into the aquariums. We also need to account for the styrofoam as well as the plywood that's going to be on top of it, which should add about another inch. So when I look at this, it no longer feels that short. We're standing at 57 inches. So now when we measure it, we're at around 57 inches complete. The Stingray tank, that 700 is 60 inches total. So it's only a three inch difference. Things, three inch difference. Things are still going to look pretty symmetrical. I'm going to be able to access the tanks easily. Personally, I think it would be visually more visually pleasing if I had the tanks about uh, six and a half feet or six feet at least uh, the, to the tops of the tanks. I like to stand there and be able to see it like this, but this place isn't just about me. I, I can't wait for people to come in here and enjoy it with us. 
Anyways, those are some things you need to consider when building your own stand. So in my opinion, when building a stand, the first thing you kind of want to consider, of course, is the height. But also consider all the offcuts and waste. Does it matter if you go two inches shorter or maybe two inches taller? You want to get the most out of the wood because honestly, right now, it's the cost of uh, plywood and any kind of wood is through the roof. I'll tell you why I love two by four stands so much. A two by four on edge like this at approximately three feet, this is closer to two, that's actually 23 inches, but um, a two by four on edge like this, three feet tall, will support 800 pounds per two by four. You go two by six and we're looking at uh, 1200 pounds. You wanna go two by eight, I believe it's like 1600. It keeps getting more and more, obviously. Now, which dimensions do you need and which size do you need? All depends on the size of your aquarium. I'm adding in 180 gallon tanks on top of these, empty, they weigh about 400 pounds. A gallon of water weighs uh, 8.3 pounds. So we're looking at 1500 pounds of water, 400 pounds of uh, tank, you know, added 100 pounds of de decor, 200 pounds, something like that. I need to support around 2000 pounds. Sounds a lot like a lot, but look at this. 800 pounds, 1600 pounds. 2,400 pounds, technically this will support my tank. We're gonna get into the supports and how they work when we start putting all these together. I just wanna get a lot of the technical aspects out of the way because we haven't talked about this stuff in a long time. How much does your aquarium actually weigh though? I'm gonna give you guys a lot of rules of thumb that you can think on your feet with, that you don't need uh, you know, a calculator or anything like that or you know, notes or having to Google things. I mean, you're at the wood yard and you're trying to figure things out. Uh, upright two by four, 800 pounds. Two by six, 1200 pounds. Two by eight, I believe it's 1600. I'd have to check the uh, information in my book, but how much does your, your, your tank weigh and how much does it weigh full and all of that? Rule of thumb, this is only a rough idea, but they weigh about 10 to 12 pounds per gallon. And that is the tank filled of course you know if it's acrylic versus glass how much decor you have in it we're talking rough uh you know something that you can actually go off of for example if i were to use that method um, with a 180 filled with water weighs around 2100 pounds 180 times 10 is 1800 you get the, like it's really really close all these off cuts that i'm cutting off are going to be the width i have to cut an inch off of it but the only amount of waste that I'm gonna have out of all those two by fours is a bunch of one inch, like little butts off the end. And with that, you know, next to no waste, we're getting the height we want, we're getting the width and the length we want, and uh, we figured it all out without wasting too much. You're gonna need screws, a lot, a lot of screws. These are just number eight, two and a half wood screws. Works perfectly fine. Uh, I'd use drywall screws, etc. I've always used number eight, Two and a half though eight is the diameter of the screw uh the two and a half is how long they are uh, a two by four isn't two inches by four inches technically it's one and a half inches by three and a half inches so you definitely got to keep that in mind so if i were going to try to screw these together uh i could go through this one with an inch and a half screw but if i had another one that if i had one that was two and a half it would go through this one and halfway through this like this you can even use a three inch screw if you wanted to but i find they always come through for me See, it's only a two and a half inch screw. So you gotta, gotta remember these are not actually four in, or two inches thick. But you know, how many screws do you need? How many two by fours do you need? Is there a rule of thumb with that? And uh, I'm happy to say, yes, I've built so many stands and you know, so many different types of tanks over the years that you know, I can go to a store and if somebody, if I was just at a, a wood lumber yard and uh, I thought to myself, oh, I want to build a 120 gallon tank stand. I'm going to know how many pieces I need, uh, how much supports it's going to need, which lumber I'm actually going to use, etc. And you guys are going to be able to do all of that just based on this one video. Building stands is a boring type of video, but the ability to build your own stand unlocks so many doors for you. It allows you to do so many things that are custom and not right now, but eventually you can save a ton of money. So let's say you wanted to build like a three foot long stand. We'll do a bunch of measurements. Uh, so a three foot long stand, uh, you'll need about eight two by fours. 
a, a four foot long stand and this really doesn't matter on the width as long as it's not like four feet long and four feet wide like i mean a normal size tank up to two four two feet wide type of deal uh you'll need 10 for a four foot six foot you need 12 uh, eight foot 15 a two by four weighs around on average uh, 12 pounds. So, I mean, we could really calculate exactly how much you're going to need, what it's going to cost, what everything's going to weigh. Now, building a, the frame to a stand should only take you about an hour, um, maybe less, depends on how well you are with tools and whatnot. Definitely be wearing eye protection, stainless, uh, steel toe boots, etc. I'm really bad for not wearing per personal protection equipment. So. Just cutting these up, not taking too much time now. I forgot the floors were rubber, so basically what I could do is um, I need 22 inch pieces, so that's, that board's 22 inches from here. All I gotta do is put a board, cut, 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 so it's moving really quick. Um, I wish I had my stand and I wouldn't have to worry about this moving around, it could be so much faster, but I forgot. Anyways, uh, each, uh, I've got five piles of wood here. I'm sorry, six piles of wood. And as I get the parts for each one, I just put it in its pile. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about though that I forgot was how do I pick a two by four versus two by six versus two by eight? And it just comes down to safety factors. Basically you're looking for something like, I like to do a minimum of a safety factor of four. Now what that means, and I'm probably covered in sawdust and sweat, but what that means is that the stand will absolutely easily withstand at least four times the weight you plan to put on it. And we talked about how much these 180s are going to weigh, from around 2,000 pounds. Uh, and the stand design that I'm building here, and you guys will be able to replicate quite easily, is uh, will be able to support a absolute minimum of 8,000 pounds, giving me a safety factor of that four that I was looking for. Now, once you see the design and what's actually supporting it, you'll be able to do the calculations as well. You know how much each upright can support based on the uh, size of the lumber, uh, as well as uh, that we just multiply that by however many supports. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to cutting, then we're gonna put these together and you'll understand everything. So as I said, only four cuts required to build these stands. There's four different measurements here. We've got the main length, uh, then we have the sides, the you know, side to side. We have the main braces, and then we have the, the guides for the uh, braces as well. We've got enough here to build six stands back to back. Now look at this, if you calculate everything properly, you're gonna have lots of sawdust, but these are the off cuts. So like I said, a few little chunks. These here, I wasn't really, uh, the bigger ones I wasn't really accounting for, but like I said, not a lot of waste here. So this is one of the finished stand frames just the frame we still have to put plywood on top as well as some padding and we need to wrap it so it looks better um you know after that i got a few more to do uh so just to run through how these are actually kind of put together you have the top form uh, and this is just the what the tank is actually going to sit on uh, these are also just butt joints, so you want the length of your entire aquarium, plus maybe about an inch if you want a little bit of wiggle room. And then uh, this is obviously the width, but don't forget to take into account that you need to... Uh, so, for example, if this tank is 24 inches wide, I don't want this piece to be 24 inches because then I will have um, this one and a half and that one and a half inch thick, so we'll end up with like 27 inches of width. So you just want to make sure your cuts are done properly. Uh, the second thing that you kind of want to focus on, uh, that's one cut. This is another measurement. So once you get these two together, you can kind of move into the upright supports. Now the upright supports are these here in the back. They're actually not to the height of the tank. These are only guides. Sorry, I called them supports, but they're not supports. They're just guides. They give something for the supports to actually hold on to. Uh, because the support systems themselves is what is sets the height of the stand and what takes all of the weight Now for example in this stand we've got two two by fours in each corner two by fours in the center If it's a six foot stand, I'll build the center supports if it was a four foot one. I wouldn't even bother It's, it's not that big um, but with all of these support systems in it, they support approximately 800 pounds a piece. We've got 10 in there. The stand will safely hold 8,000 pounds minimum. This doesn't take into account the, the plywood that's going to be on it or what's wrapping it that also helps with its structural integrity. It also doesn't uh, take into uh, account the 
screws, which each have a shearing strength of about, I believe is about 50 pounds, meaning it takes 50 pounds of force to snap them in half. And we've got a hundred in there. Um, so I mean, we're thousands and thousands of pounds more than what we need here. Definitely a project you can trust and uh, super simple to do. These guides here just hold the stand together and offer more support uh, and hold up the other sports as well. Um, all around, this is basically the easiest basic design that you could do for a do-it-yourself stand for your aquariums. And it's the one that I've been doing for years and years and years, and it works. I've never had one of these fail. I have um, put a tank on one with a, it was a glass tank with a flat glass bottom. Uh, there was a pebble uh, under, the st uh, under the tank and, you know, had nothing to do with the tank nor the stand. It was just that pebble I didn't get out of the way in time when I placed it on there and the tank cracked. My fault. First time it ever happened, but uh, definitely, you know, just because something's never happened to you doesn't mean it never could. With that said, again, five more to do today. I'm going to get all of these done, just the um, frames, and then I can move on to different things in the aquarium gallery. For example, I got to build, you know, all these other stands. I got to figure out the water change station and more. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to fast track your learning and, uh, you know, really master do-it-yourself projects within the aquarium hobby, and I'm talking build, not only building the stands, but build every type of aquarium, every method of filtration, equipment, lights, you name it. I wrote a book on this. It's 552 pages. It's called The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself Handbook for the Do-It-Yourself Aquarist. I dumped everything into that book. I literally still go back and reference it, and it's just an, it's like a memoir of every project I could possibly think of or that I thought that you guys would enjoy there's uh link is in the description pick it up if you if uh you think you want to do that i highly suggest getting it awesome book i'll see you guys in the next video though